there are a lot of men of God have truly been a blessing to our generation. God has blessed this nation will great and power men who have paid the price of alignment. Despite divine direction as a major key to connecting to a spiritual covering or father. I have watched and consistently seen genuine and exciting reasons to follow this man Apostle Joshua Selman my spiritual father. 1. He loves God. This is core in following or submitting to any man of God. A man that loves God will infest you with the same virus. Apostle loves God, I was with him in March before the lockdown during a mentorship session. He said, I love God more than ministry. Kai. How many men will say this? Many men are in ministry for fame and money. But this man does not play with his quite time and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. That is the secret behind his exploits. He has infested me with this virus. I love God Chai. 2. He loves the body of Christ. I have careful sat down to watch certain men of God hold a mic and disembody the body of Christ. They insult fathers, bring confusion and raise rebels as follower who lack home training. I was raised by a good father and virtuous mother who taught me to respect elders. She also taught me never to correct an elder or speak against an elder in secret or openly. Let other elders do so. Apostle Joshua Selman I know will never speak against any church or any pastor. I have watched him closely and have chosen this part. He loved the body of Christ and goes extra length to dig and labor to draw inspiration, illumination and revelation to feed a generation. 3. He is a balanced teacher of the Word. Apostle Joshua Selman I make bold to say is one of the most balanced teacher of the Word of God globally. His teaching cut across success, career, relationship, emotional, finance, spiritual intelligence, excellence, kingdom, wisdom, greatness, holiness, deliverance, honor etc. He teaches you about the person of Christ, the Holy Spirit and still teaches you the principles of Christ. You cannot be under this man and not excel in every area of your life. I had a vision one day, I saw a child who looked like a monster. Big head, this hands and legs were not equal, body structure so deformed and different eyes and ear sizes. The Spirit of God told me, raise me balanced men. How can you raise spiritual giants who are emotional, financial, mental and social dwarf? They don't know how to navigate their ways in the marketplace. They lack wisdom on relationship, lack social skill, don't know anything about finance. That is not with my father, my life has moved upward and forward since I met him. What a man that feeds you with food that contains all the seven nutrients and yet he still stands in his core message of revival. 4. He understands honor and is very humble. If you know Apostle Joshua Selman you will know that he is the most preferred preacher in the world now. After his meeting in London, his host called Pastor Sam Oy and told him. That he had never seen a man like Apostle. They had to change venues because none could contain the crowd. Despite his fame, he is still humble. He honor and respect all men. I mean all men, I was telling someone the other day that if you want to know how Jesus behaves come let me show you a man had as his replica on earth. What a man. He understands honor and he is humble. 5. He carries God presence. My brother I know God lives in us. You don't need to shout it. But there are levels my bother. I am talking about the feelable, seeable, touchable, palpable, undeniable and knowable presence of God that births miracles. In December we had a meeting soul with our partners. I was holding the anionting oil for Apostle to anoint our partners. Kai. The presence of God emitting from him was so thick, I kept controlling myself. I was the man of God, I had to stand before the people at a time fire. I could not understand what happened next. I only regained consciousness to see myself on the ground with the oil poured on me. I saw people crying and he was not praying. I walked with him into the indoor stadium with thousands of people in the hall. As we walked the aisles, people were been slain. What an anionted man. He carries God and you can deny it when you meeting him. 6. He is not a man of theory, his life has so many results. Friends I am speaking from experience here. 2017, my life in ministry was a mess. I was at a breaking point. I was to give up on ministry, and go back to fishing, banking, like Peter. But as I was praying and crying to God in the early hours of the morning. I saw a vision, Apostle Joshua Selman appeared in front of me. My eyes were open, and the Lord said to me follow this tribe and connect to this man. I went to see him and dropped a seed, he laid hands on me. That was it, my life and ministry changed. The rest is history. I see same grace in him working in me. I have seen many testimonies in our ministry, healings, deliverances, breakthroughs, favors and blessings from many people I know who just came in contact with him. 7. He loves me, my family, in gathering and my city Asaba. Every time I am opportune to speak with him. He will always say this, Pastor Ike, 
I love you and your wife so much. You are so dear to my heart. You can not fail because you are connect to me. Kai. Those word permeate into my spirit, soul and body. He calls to ask how are you doing, I hope there is no challenge. He prays for us. He is always willing and ready to bless. What a father, what a covering. I don't have any more thing to ask. By the way I was raised we don't request or collect things from mentors. But this is a mentor and father who is always wanting to give and give, but we keep refusing and refusing. But he insists and sometimes Uman we collect small and still jibe back heavily to him. 8. He guides his mind like jeweler guide their jewelry. We were privileged to travel with him with his car from Abuja to Zaria in 2020. To the shock of me and my wife. After we have talked and discussed on our journey he played a messages and worship songs from his phone through the car speakers for over 4 hours. There was not space. Anytime you meet him, he has an earphone in his ears. He feeds his mind consistently. He is not even on social media. He has no old picture on the walls of his house. He said I look to the future and not the past. Kai, he knows that his mind is one of his greatest treasures. He that does not mind his mind, his world will not mind him. No wonder our generation is in need of him. I have found a man to follow who follow Christ. 9. He does not follow the bandwagon. Apostle Selman does not do what everybody is doing or what is popular. Do you know there was no sign board to Koino Niazaria for over 10 years? They didn't have handbills then. Yet over 7,000 people come for their meetings every Friday then. A meeting that starts by 5.30 p.m. but by 2 p.m. the hall and two overflows are already filled. What a grace, he once said in this lineage no venue accommodate the people that attended. We will always have problem with overflow. Kai. What a lineage. Today Abuja has been subdued, the crowd is massive. 10. He will never do anything without God's approval. He is a man that is lead by the Spirit. I had a planned meeting for next year and discussed with him. He did not give me a reply. After some weeks I called him and asked him again about the meeting for approval. He said Pastor I don't do anything without God's approval. Give me time to get approval. That one sank in. Never do anything without God's approval. If God sends you, he will take care of the logistics. But if you send yourself, you will pay the transport. It is not by power or might but by his spirit. I love you sir. My wife and family loves you. We honor you. We treasure every minute with you. Thanks for your fatherly role in our lives. This man carries a mantle for my generation. Hardcore solutions to difficult cases. What an anointed man. I celebrate God for loving me so much to connect me to this grace. I celebrate a system I celebrate a generational grace. I celebrate an apostle of our time. I celebrate a man graced with different mantles. I celebrate a man of revelation and mysteries. I have so much to say. But let me stop here and continue next time. Happy birthday in advance my father, Archer, 